Hey guys, it's Landon Blake with Redefined Horizons, and this is the first video in another set of videos I'm doing. I'm going to show you how to write some land descriptions. So, I've got another video set, um, but I wanted to do a, a, a second set. <clears throat> the reason I'm going to do this set is uh, we have kind of an interest, interesting uh, situation here where I've got um, five or six um, land descriptions to write, and they're all right next to each other. So they're all adjacent or overlaid on one another, and then we're going to have a, um, three meets and bounds descriptions and then two strip descriptions. So I thought it'd be good to just work through these descriptions with you guys. Um, land descriptions are a little bit tricky, so I, I, I thought another video series would be good. Um, I don't know if I'll do another one after this on land descriptions, but uh, but we'll do this one. So And I apologize. Um, I know this my my... The video of, of me is really bright because uh, I live in Stockton. It's hot. My air conditioner's broke, and I'm in my white T-shirt. And uh, there's a there's a really bright reflection in the video. <laughs> so just bear with me on that. So um, here's what we've got up, guys. We've got um, <clears throat> so just like I told you in the other video series, you want to have some things ready when you start. So I've got my Word doc here basically set up, um, and then on this other screen, I'll move over for you guys for a minute. So this is the main uh, record map that I'm going to be working off of. So we're we're describing some parcels in this north uh, east corner of this uh, parcel D that's going to be um, conveyed to the city, city of Merced. So I've got my record reference here. Um, I've got uh, this is the first plat that my uh, CAD tech prepared. Elena, she did a great job on these. Um, so it's nice when you have the plats just ready to go. Okay, so I've got those those two things up. So uh, the other thing I need that I don't have open yet is the closure report. So when you start, make sure you have your Word doc, your plat if it's already done, your record references that you need, and your closure. So let's go. I believe my cat text did my closure for me. So let's see closure report. Yeah, they might not have got to the closures, which is okay. So uh, they didn't have time to get to get to the closures. So we'll we'll have to run the closures. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start this description. So I need to run some closures, but what we're going to do in the meantime is uh, we're going to write the caption. Okay, for this uh, we're going to have basically the same caption on all the legal descriptions. So. I want to at least get the caption written in the first video. So, I don't know that I've done videos on captions before for land descriptions. So, what you want to do in your caption is you want to give the reader a general idea of the vicinity of the parcel that's being described. And that doesn't seem like it's important, but I was working with my partner today. We were going through a title report, and we had a half a dozen exceptions to insurance coverage that were in the title report. And we were able to determine that just by reading the caption, right, without having to cogo all the documents because um, some of these things weren't even close to the to parcel that was being insured. So captions are really useful for things like that. That's just one example. Um, you do want to make sure that your caption covers your whole parcel, right? So um, there are some court cases that say if you don't have your entire parcel covered by your caption that you only convey what's what's covered by the caption. So just be careful. You want to make sure that you're, it's always better to have a, a caption that describes a vicinity that's too big rather than too small, okay? So, and as a general rule, I start from small to big, right? So, um, you know, I'm going to end at the state of California. I'm going to start with my, uh, you know, my section. Um, then you get, you know, section, township, range, city, county, state kind of thing. Okay? So, let's, uh, let's go look at our record reference, which will help us do this. Okay? So, um, let's see what we got here. So... Okay, so right here, so if you've got an existing record map, this gets this is really easy, right? So we can see I'm a, this parcel map divided a portion of section 31, township 6, range 14 east, and a portion of section 36. So we are here, and we are in the southeast quarter of section 31, okay? So, and we're also part of parcel D. So parcel D is the smallest thing we're going to say. So, okay, here's what, here's what we're going to do. We're going to say, uh, whoop. Or say uh, that real property 
being a portion of parcel D as shown on the parcel map filed in book of okay so we gotta get our book page let me pull that off here so I'm looking for the recording statement on the parcel map you see notaries there's a bunch of notaries on this one okay here it is record statement so filed in book 103 of parcel maps at page 48 okay Merced County official records okay and then I'm gonna put a period and say also lying within the whoop, southeast one quarter of section 31 township we are township six south range 14 east mount diablo baseline and meridian let's see also line went in and I'm going to say city of Merced county of Merced state of California okay so we started with the smallest right parcel D on this map then we go we're in the north southeast quarter section 31 then we go township range then we go city of Merced county of Merced state of California right make sure you give your meridian or baseline so they know what township and range you're talking about. Okay, so there you go. That's pretty simple, right? There's the caption. So we're gonna go ahead and save that. Okay, and uh, then we're gonna start this next. Uh, we're gonna actually start the legal. So we're gonna say, um, let's see, lying within. Okay, then I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna say that parcel of real property. I'm gonna say said parcel being more particularly clearly described as follows. So that's the caption, and then we're going to give the actual body of the legal description here, okay? And uh, and so we'll write that, but we need to run the closure real quick. So I'm going to end this video, I'm going to go run my closure, and then we'll come back and we'll finish the body of this, land description and, uh, and uh, the end notes, okay? Alright guys, thanks for watching.